The construction of 127 housing units for the displaced people of senior chief Chihuahua's area in Indola has conspicuously been misunderstood by some sectors of society. This follows an illegal press release dated 23rd June 2014 entitled Raja Matani Fossil Claims Credit for Zambezi Portland Housing Project. But Zambezi Portland has responded to this publication indicating that the housing project is not about Dr. Matani but that it's about providing houses to the people who will be displaced because of the mining activities of the Zambezi Portland cement. Company Chief Executive Officer Peter Kanagayagam expounds. The, this said press release or article is not from the official company domain and besides being illegal, has number of wild allegations meant to divert the attention of the main objective of the project, which was basically to provide housing for the displaced people in Senior Chief Chiwala's area. The source of this article should desist from portraying the use of the company domain when it is false and reports shall be filed with the appropriate criminal authorities. Zambezi Portland Cement is a limited company, a limited liability company employing over 545 people. It is therefore selfish and lack of foresight on the sources of this article, of this legal article, to try and undermine the credibility of the company to satisfy their personal vendetta. In Dr. Matani's speech during the groundbreaking ceremony for the project on the 20th June 2014, he stressed that the project was an obligation which Zambezi Potran Cement had to fulfill in consultation with Senior Chief Chiwala and the Zambia Environmental Management Agency, Zema. Zambezi Portland Cement commenced project activities for the cement plant in Masaiti district after approval of the project by Zema, which was formerly known as the Environmental Council of Zambia, in 2006 subsequent to an environmental impact assessment undertaken as required by law. One of the Zima approval conditions for the cement plant was that Zambezi Portland Cement would resettle all the people that would be adversely affected by the activities associated with the cement production. <laughs> Allow me to comment on various tabloids that have undertaken a personal vendetta on behalf of the minority shareholders and are carrying out a malicious character assassination against only my person. You'll be pleased to know, Your Royal Highness and Honorable Ministers, that I have commenced legal proceedings and appropriate advertisements will soon appear in the local and international press. Antony Chomba, Movie TV News, Dollar.